Hey guys, welcome back to another survey of Proof of Thought. We're going to jump right into the energy of the cards. Of course, if you are new to the channel, welcome and join us as I prepare a bit of food for thought. So let's jump right into the energy here, Holy Spirit. What is the message here for the collective energies? What are the cards here that best represent the message, the reading? Someone has a blocked chakra when it comes to you. Someone is blocking their chakra because they're not wanting to be tied or bound to situations of love. This is someone who has some, some commitment issues. Hmm. I also feel this is someone who has a victim mindset. Also having the fear of failure. This is someone who doesn't have a pessimistic attitude. This is someone who only sees their problems no one else's as they have a blocked sacral chakra as well I feel like this energy does a lot of chaos and confusion and plays the victim in response it seems as if this energy is just winging it basing everything on just good luck someone is relying on luck when they barely have any because this energy is coming out with outdated ways of thinking especially when it comes to repeating cycles or karmic cycles yeah this is someone who repeats patterns this is someone who repeats patterns when it comes to bad decisions for many of you you feel like it's just it's just like beating a dead horse you're not getting through to them hmm. I feel you're not getting through to them because of their outdated thinking, especially when they're repeating patterns and making excuses for their choices. This is someone who's just been inauthentic. Yeah, this is someone who is not being serious about life, not being serious about changes. They're abusing their power, abusing the love they feel you have for them. Someone took the easy way out. Someone took the easy way out when it comes to love affairs, affairs of the heart. And for many of you, you just feel this was a waste of time. This is someone who likes to waste resources. Because they're always doing something the hard way. Not ready to commit someone has a lack of value. For many of you, this is someone who has a lack in value when it comes to other people's time. Yet this energy holds you to a sense of priority when it comes to them. Yet they can never do the same for you. This is how they abuse their energy towards you. Holding resentment, even envy. Because they have lost control in a situation. Someone feels like they have lost control when it comes to you. You're doing what you want instead of listening to them. You're listening to your own intuition. Hmm. I feel like you're using your own intuition because this is someone who has unrealistic expectations when it comes to love, money, stability, commitment, because of their entitlement ways. This is someone who has a circle of friends or toxic environment that um, boasts these negative ways of being. This is why they're always giving you a half-hearted effort in this situation and I feel there was definitely lessons to be learned someone feels like you just gave up on this and I feel it was rightfully so because this is someone who was just doing too much not taking the connection seriously you just had to back away there's too much conflict and this energy is investing their time into other things or people this is someone who is not doing something from a clear space they're not being authentic they feel like you put some type of spell on them because their life is just falling apart. This energy feels they're cursed. This energy is feeling like they're cursed because nothing is going their way. They've lost control in the situation, but I feel it's their entitlement. It's their ego that's keeping them from seeing something for what it is. Let's get some more energy here. As I said before, this is someone who has a black, well, a blocked chakra when it comes to their heart. Yet they feel like they're innocent in a situation, but I almost feel it's just like taming the beast. 
because this energy never has any real regrets. This is someone who has wasted a lot of your precious time, not being clear or honest about what they wanted. I feel this energy just left something to the imagination, causing more mystery, causing something to be harder than it needed to be. Yes, this energy has made you feel very suspicious about their ways. The fact that they are entitled, still listening to outside influences, or even being immature. I feel this energy acts immature, childish, lacking emotional integrity. And I also feel for many of you, they have communication problems. Yeah. For me, you feel like this energy never can get it right. You feel like they'll never change because they're always sitting in this runner energy. Yet never speaking out. This energy is coming out as a loose cannon. A snake trauma. Someone who is very flirty. Possibly has issues when it comes to bad habits, reckless ways, trying to escape life, even having a drinking problem. Please take it how it resonates, but I feel this energy missed a target when it comes to you, especially when they're sitting in these childish ways. This is someone who likes the limelight. They like the attention when it comes to other energies. This is why they're always letting others interfere. In fact, I feel like this energy loves putting on a show. Especially when it comes to this circus. I feel this is someone who is giving snake-like vibes. I feel like this energy is giving snake-like vibes. And they have hurt you publicly. And drained you privately. As you've been patient enough for someone who's just not serious enough about life. As they have the attitude of this is who they are. Take it or leave it. But I feel like you shocked this energy when you chose yourself instead. This is someone who gave in to the attention that they were seeking. Putting on a show. A people pleaser wanting to be pleased. This is someone who was always finding, finding a way to disrespect your boundaries. Stringing you along. Thinking they were playing you for a fool. This energy fooled themselves. Because I feel like for many of you, you just left them hanging. This could be their energy as well. Please take it how it resonates. But this energy only ended up in a ring of fire. Because things are always going round and round with this energy ghosting you. Never having any closure. This energy not wanting to acknowledge what they've done. They just want it to be put in the past. This is someone who is going through a lot of trials and tribulations within this ring of fire. Leaving something in the air has caused something to be very challenging for them because they're now very frustrated. I feel nothing is set in stone when dealing with this energy causing something to be left in limbo. They didn't have a plan B and they made a lot of false promises keeping you waiting. But I feel now the roles are reversed. Hmm. I feel like the roles are reversed. Someone needs to take this mask off. Yet this energy is still sitting in the space of non-committal ways. This energy is still coming out as a player. A clown. Someone who is sitting in a ring of fire not realizing the chaos and conflict is only tearing their life apart. Yet this energy is still coming out as a sucker for you. I feel the more you push them away, the more they want to be back in your life. But I feel this energy still has a lot of secrets. And they're dealing with their shadow self. Someone wants to reach out. And I feel they're on the verge of doing so, but they're still trying to make sense of their chaos. Still putting on a show. For many of you, I feel you're very suspicious. Also cautious when it comes to this energy. Because they've broken your trust in many ways trying to charm you in a situation this is someone who feels like they can sweet talk you but as I said before the roles are reversed you're tired of going in circles when it comes to this energy you can't believe what they say they're only wasting your time you are starting to look at this energy a little differently 
as it seems this is not your circus but you definitely know the clown hmm. as you may have gotten too close or invested in this situation yet you never wanted to take part in this sideshow this freak show that this energy has put you in because of their immature behaviors you had to deal with something you should have never had to deal with so something is very delicate when dealing with this energy someone's feeling like this would have been a perfect match but this energy had bad intentions you know this is a very delicate situation especially when it comes to Resolving something, working something out with this energy. I feel there was some type of soul contract with this energy and they completely screwed it up with their bad intentions. You feel like this energy is up to no good because there's always betrayal, two-faced ways, or deceit. You feel like this energy just cannot be trusted. For many of you, you felt trapped in this situation. Nothing was sweet about it because this energy was always being childish, stuck in a comfort zone when it comes to you. But I also feel they're snooping around because they're too invested in the situation that is now bringing them fears. This energy is apprehensive. There's no love. They're going through some type of drought. And this is why they're about to put on a show, some type of act for you, instead of surrendering to the truth. I feel this energy is wanting to lure you in, but I feel like it's just going to be drama. Yeah, this is someone who wants access, but it's just the work of a magician. I feel when dealing with this energy, nothing is what it seems. This energy is trying to manifest when it comes to you, trying to draw you back in without doing the work. Yeah, someone wants to make some type of offer to you. This is someone who is still thinking about juggling a situation when it comes to you as this energy is very bold when it comes to their choices. I feel this energy is bold when it comes to money, stability, and love as this energy is always taking a risk when it comes to what they believe, even their choices. I feel this energy is definitely questionable in every way because they're always up to some type of monkey business. Yeah, this is a circus, a freak show that many of you have already abandoned. You know, you want no part of the madness as this energy is always pretending to be a ringmaster when they're clearly a clown. Many of you see this energy as dead weight because there's no balance in the situation. Yeah, I feel this energy is still not letting go. This energy is still holding on, pretending something was just a misunderstanding. Someone wants an uh, outcome to run in their favor. Yeah, I feel someone is still manipulating situations even though they know they're still attracted to you. That's, yeah, this, this is someone who is shocked that you walked away, chose self. But for many of you, you can't understand or respect the things that they say yeah for many of you you have lost a lot of respect when it comes to this energy and for many of you they already know what they have with you is clearly damaged you're over the cycles of the monkey business the madness this freak show is not what you have signed up for i feel this energy doesn't have access to you because you're not trying to be drained in the process They've already taken enough. You're not giving them any more. This is someone who is definitely sitting in a space of trying to get what they want, yet they are still sitting in player energy, still running away from intimacy, running away from love. Yet this energy is wanting to reconcile, to stroke their ego. Someone is wanting to make nice with you just to see if they can get back in your good graces. But I feel this is a very delicate situation and it just might not go in their favor. This is a very sensitive situation where someone has been very careless with your energy as this energy is only able to see things from their own point of view where they pretend to have standards, morals, values, even a conscience, yet they possess none of that. This energy is a loose cannon and they like to have their way regardless, whatever it takes, as they will cheat, lie, and disrespect you, yet 
you are to remain loyal and blind to their bullshit, blind to their deceit or dark ways to prove your loyalty or even your love. Now they're trying to get you to feel bad for giving up when really you just know that some games are just not worth playing. You're not going to play with your heart. Yet I sense this energy never thought that they would end up being a clown when they truly intended on being the ringmaster. I feel something fell apart when it comes to their immature ways. Someone thought that they were going to get away with something strategically when it comes to you stringing you along in a situation. But I feel this energy being a loose cannon is one of their biggest downfalls because you're not respecting anything they do or anything they say. They're going to have to come better with this because you don't believe in creating challenges for yourselves when you can just make life so much easier by walking away. Someone never thought that you would choose self or let them go in the way that you did. However, I feel whatever you did was definitely on target. Someone is wanting to reconcile with you, but I feel your suspicions are high. You still feel they have bad intentions because they're still sitting in space where they're clearly still immature. You feel like you no longer have the time to waste. So I definitely feel this energy is always sitting in the space of sabotaging. Not knowing how to give in to love, this energy is still creeping and making really bad decisions behind the scenes. For many of you, I feel you're tired of putting in the work and getting nothing in return. Because this energy is coming out as vain, selfish, all about self. Mm. This energy has some fetishes as well that keeps them locked down in these toxic ways of immaturity. They're vain and even boastful. This is someone who has excessive pride. Wow. Yeah, this energy has excessive pride and still living in a fantasy, still sitting in a space of bad company, unsavory or questionable energies. This is not the sense of family. There's no stability because this energy has no power. They're abusing their power. Please take it how it resonates. And someone around them is getting off on the gossip. This is someone who's being fake when it comes to affairs of the heart. They're super touchy about their own feelings. Someone could be talking up behind their back because someone realizes this energy is clueless to the truth. Hmm. Low-key hating on them. Someone is throwing shade. Someone is thinking they're got, going to get some type of sympathy for you. Someone doesn't want to be last in the race. And I also feel like they could be losing their identity. <laughs> wow. And for some of you, it was already lost. This is someone who likes to humiliate others. But I feel whatever they're invested in, it's about to go up in flames. Something about this energy's life, it's like a ticking time bomb. Someone is making a lot of choices from a very vain space, thinking something will never change or they'll never get caught, but I feel someone's about to see the truth about karma, because it's real. I feel this is someone who has a lot of unfiltered chaos, especially sitting in this sideshow, this hot mess, as someone is doing something very disrespectful, not just to others, but also to self. This is someone who has limited beliefs, very vindictive, and has very unhealthy boundaries. Someone has no limits when it comes to sex. Um, this is someone who needs to stop pretending when it comes to affairs of the heart. Yet this energy has tunnel vision when it comes to getting what they want. There's a lot of get quick, well, get rich quick schemes. But nothing is working out. This energy feels like they know it all. But something or someone is definitely dead weight. There's a lot of sabotage. Someone is keeping this energy from seeing what it is. But I feel this energy is very comfortable. Very comfortable in being lost. I feel this energy is in a space where they're conflicted. Not wanting to change. Hmm. 
And I feel this is also causing many of you to be very disgusted when it comes to their ways. I feel many of you have been on the fence about this situation for quite a while now. And at this point, you're just over it. You feel like this energy will never get it and you're tired of wasting time trying to hope for a better outcome when it's always just been the same. I feel this energy always has tunnel vision when it comes to their needs, their wants, their desires. Yet this energy still won't commit. This energy tries to treat you like a stranger, being callous, doing things unapologetically. This energy has been very rude, embellishing stories, trying to blend in and taking others' resources. I feel this energy is self-medicating, acting fake for clout. This is someone who is putting on a show, wanting attention from others, but I feel this energy is not understanding the energy or the people they're attracting in doing so. I feel this energy is bringing in the wrong type of crowd, but I also feel they may be the wrong type of crowd as well, as this energy is not wanting to grow up. This energy doesn't want to change. They are very comfortable in their toxic ways as they are still playing dumb to their own reality. As I said before, this is someone who is just not taking life seriously. This is why you're getting a half-assed effort. They're unawakened and easily misled when it comes to their weaknesses. For many of you, this is someone who's been acting very petty for a really long time because they think they know everything. But I feel this energy would never admit to you that you got to their heart. It was never supposed to be that way. But I also feel this energy is still faking the funk and sticking to the script. I feel like it's been a struggle when dealing with this energy. A lot of the things they have done is unforgivable because of their twisted way of thinking. Their twisted way of believing things. But I feel it's going to leave them nowhere. I feel they're ways of doing things is only going to lead to something very dark where the destination is nowhere i feel there's a lot of secrets this energy is being silly or trying to pretend like something isn't as bad as it is but it truly is a mess especially when it comes to the realness of their life I sense this energy has not only toyed with your emotions, but the emotions of others. But I also feel all of this is about to come to a head. This this is all about to get real crazy for someone who has been very careless with not only your heart, but others. Because you're not the only one they've heard. Let's get some final energy here, Holy Spirit. Final energy here for the collective. Yeah, this energy seems to be spellbound or this energy wants something to work when it comes to talking to you. Someone wants you to be wrapped up in their words or wrapped up in their energy. Someone is wanting you to expect the unexpected when it comes to them. They want you to reminisce. This energy wants you to fall back into the illusion of love because they cannot give it authentically. And for many of you, you can already see this. You can already see that this energy's intentions are not the same as yours. Um, because this energy is still being nonchalant about something. Still not telling the truth and still wanting center stage in a situation. This energy is not wanting to show their despair. Yeah, Someone wants to pretend like they're unfazed, unbothered. They're trying to be nonchalant about their blackened heart. For their corrupt heart because this energy is still being vague about their life and third party energies hmm. someone didn't want to be dropped but I feel like this energy didn't have enough remorse this energy pretends to have a guilty conscience but someone is not letting go of their toxic ways this energy is coming out as a rebel Someone who has fallen from grace. I feel like this energy fell from grace through their wicked ways, putting on a masquerade, keeping secrets, and I feel this is the very reason they were cut off. I feel this energy was blocked 
because they're too blind to see your truth. Blocked because they're in denial. I feel this energy is blocked when it comes to affairs of the heart. You're not wanting to be as invested as you used to be. But I also feel that has left some type of void. That's left them feeling empty. There's a space of nothingness. Someone knows they can't feel the void of you. But someone doesn't know how to respect you either. Causing everything to go up in smoke. I feel low key this energy sees you as a soulmate. Someone knows that you are worth every moment, but I feel this energy has caused too much damage. Too much damage being delusional or deranged when it comes to this connection. Someone is too self-absorbed, too prideful to come out of their selfish ways. I feel this is someone who has failed to be transparent. I feel this energy is felt to be transparent about their challenges, obstacles, because they're always relying on seducing you, sweet talking you, talking their way out of a mess. But I feel it would only leave a wasted opportunity. Someone's wasting their time trying to play with you because it just won't work. Because this energy is playing a dirty game of mind games that would only lead them to playing themselves. Because what goes around will definitely come around in this karmic cycle. This energy is yearning for you, wanting to meet up with you. But I feel many of you are already illuminated to the fact that this energy is a false twin flame. For many of you, you see this energy as someone needing help or needing to get something right. You're just not wanting to be the person to teach them this lesson. However, I do feel this karmic counterpart just might do the work for you. I feel the third party energies here are definitely in a space of giving someone what is due. But I feel someone thought they were getting away with something, but they just may have met their their match in a way. Someone met their match when dealing with a third party because they're definitely in over their head. Yet I sense due to their inflated ego, someone feels like they can always come back. In fact, they will come back, unfortunately. They always do. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading and it's gained some food for thought. If so, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Hope to see you again, guys. Bye.